Hey everybody, welcome to the Glam's channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hello everyone, my name is Zainab. Welcome to the World Changer Glimpse series presented by the 2021-2022 Project Brave Glimpse Kids. Each month, they will discuss and present an individual who thinks and loves with their heart and speaks and acts with bravery and courage. Thank Zaina. Our world changer for the month of September is Canada's Autumn Pelche. At just 16 years old, she is a chief water warrior for the admission of nation. She uses her voice to stand up for clean water everywhere, especially in indigenous communities. Autumn Pilsner's grandmother taught her that we all come from water and that water is only reason that we are here today, living on this earth. Indigenous people believe that water is alive and that water has a spirit. We should treat our water like a person who is sick. There are many indigenous communities that do not have drinking water and have to boil water before using it. In some communities, adults have to walk two kilometers each day to get water from a sailed well. Some communities had to live like this for over 10 years. The unclean water is connected to many health problems in these communities. Not having clean water is a common problem in poorer parts of the world. But how is this happening in Canada, just hours away from big cities such as Toronto? Canada is home to 60% of the world's lakes and one-fifth of the world's fresh water. Canada is always listed as the one of the best countries in the world to live in. So it's just not acceptable that more than 60,000 indigenous people haven't had access to this basic human need. Everyone deserves clean water. Canada needs to be better. Something needs to change. On World Water Day in 2018, Autumn Pelche spoke to United Nations to bring awareness to the unacceptable water issues being faced by many indigenous communities in Canada. She has great respect for the earth, the environment, and the teachings of her ancestors. She said that I think of future generations and my grandchildren and their grandchildren, will they even have clean drinking water? When she was 12 years old, Autumn was Selected to present Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau with a gift at the Assembly of First Nations in Quebec. With bravery and courage, she became overwhelmed with emotion and decided to confront the Prime Minister. That's right. As she describes that day, she told off the leader of Canada. She describes this day as one of her proudest moments. Her voice at only 12 years old really made an impact. Something in her told her that this was her chance to stand up and speak up. She was so brave. She respectfully expressed to him how unhappy she was with him, unhappy with choices made, broken promises that hurt her people. On that day, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau told Autumn that he would understand her concerns and that he would protect the water. It's been more than four years now. There hasn't been a good enough solution. The problem is still there. Adam Pelche inspires us to join her speaking up. When Autumn speaks to kids around Canada, she says that they can do the work that she is doing. As a group, the Project Brave Glimpse team has written a letter to Mr. Justin Trudeau. In our support of Autumn and all Indigenous people of Canada, our letter begs recently re-elected leader to once and for all do whatever it takes to fix these problems forever. 
If you like to hear Glimpse Kid reading that letter, click on the link in the description below. Well, Glimpse Nation, that brings us to the end of this World Changer Glimpse. The project Brave Glimpse Kids will continue to follow the lead of Mrs. Morgan's kindergarten class when exploring other world changers who think and love with their hearts and speak and act with bravery and courage. Bye, see you next month. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, you can change the world one brave day at a time. There's joy. There's one. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.